Hey guys, welcome back to another Madden Mobile 18 video. Today it's just based, it's not like a normal video. I'm going to be talking about the auction house and some glitches that have been happening lately. But may, my main point of this video is that the auction house just, I don't even know what it's like. It's just been so messed up. And one of the main reasons it's been doing this is because of the pro pack system. It only gives you 10 pro packs and obviously a 10, 10 beginner packs. That doesn't really matter that much. 10 pro packs is the limit, which means gold players and elite players are going to be much more rare because some people would make videos be like 3 million coin pro pack opening. That would be like 60 pro packs for one person. So the amount of golds and elites on the auction house is much lower because that's really the only source of... That's really the only packs you, you could buy unlimited with coins, but not, not anymore. Uh, golds, by now, they should be... Golds, usually for most of the season, besides like the first few weeks they usually go for like 2k or less 1.7k 1.8k to 2k now they're going for like literally 4,000 coins each goal and elites remember how goals were 80 overalls to 80 80 goals were up to 84 overall last year elites started 85 this year elites are starting at 80 overall 80 overall base elites are going for like a minimum of last time i checked a minimum of like 140k it's crazy if I go in the auction house right now, oops, my bad. Uh, one twenty-nine, nine, nine, nine. Maybe they've dropped. I have no idea. But let's see, elite players. None. You can't even buy an eighty overall for one hundred thirty k. After this, by the way, I'm going to show you all these auctions that I sold. One fifty k. None. 190k? No way. Okay. So I'm guessing they're around 175k right now. So, um, yeah, this is... I'm going to show you all these auctions that I sold. This was some a really good way to make coins if you were smart and you didn't just put them into random. Most feared sets. Oh my god, why does it keep doing this? Like, anytime I press the, the power button, it, yeah, every time I press the volume button, it just, like, does a screenshot even though I'm not even on camera it's, it's messed up but um yeah so I remember a noob kill like made a video like that 25 minute video how, like the pro pack issue on Mad Mobile and how every card's like unauctionable so the minute after I watched that video I went on and opened like my free rising star pack or free power line pack <coughs> sorry I opened a free power line pack and the f right in the free power line pack was an auctionable 82 overall power line player. And you see right there, 550k I was able to sell him for. In 82 overall, like literally right after it was like, there are no, no auctionable cards. I pulled him in my free coin pack for like 70k. 82 overall sells for 550k. That, that was just crazy. That was just such a, so hilarious. How like, how the time period that I pulled him in. But now let's get on to the rest. I sold every gold on my bench for 299 bid and then just like any random like million price or whatever. And they all got to like around 4 4k. Some got to 10k like the 78s and 79s. They, got, they were like 10k. Team of the week players. The auctionable team of the week players. They all sell, they all sell for like 40k each. They used to sell for like 15k each, which is still a crazy price for gold players, for like 70-something overall gold players. But now they're up to like 40k, 35k, some even 50k, like the, the most recent ones. I can't even imagine what the Team of the Week elites go for. Those are probably like, I don't even know, probably like three on the auction house. And then the, ma the other main point is the most feared. Oh, the day I go on, the most feared sets are gone, but oh well. Yep, everything's gone for most feared today, November 8th. But, uh, yeah, the most feared player. So I did one of those. I think you'll, you'll be seeing that video soon. I did, like, one Dread Zone Elite player. I used 20 of the Dread Zone goal players. And then the rest, since I did a pack opening, I had, like, a ton of random other goal players that I had no use for. I could have done something like an Elite. I could have done something like a Quick Sell pack or, like, uh... I don't know what, what sets do they have with goal players. Like, Wheel of Madden Cash, I could have put, like, a 79 overall. I could have uh, could have done that goodie bag. But instead, 
I just sold all the auctionable ones and saved the rest for other stuff like that. Don't put you shouldn't have put an auctionable auctionable most fear players in in the sets because I'm gonna show you why. They all some sold for like 70k. I swear I'm gonna show you in a second. And then some sold for like 50k. And I had like 20 of them, 20 from the pack opening that I had nothing to do because I only had like six monster midway. It's like eight, eight on um, whatever. It's all like nightmare. I only had those, which was not 20, so it wasn't enough. And I just sold all those on the auction house. Then of course I had like five extra dread zone players. And then I did also have some unauctionable ones. So these is this is 36 auctions. All the ran all the random gold players I have on my bench. Clearly I don't play this game a lot because I would have a ton more. I would have I would have like like. 300 if I constantly played this game if I just did randomly had it but I used to put golds and quick sells but I shouldn't have done that but I I sold all the gold players auctionable gold players on my bench plus this one elite Sean Sean Coleman and I this is just the price I don't want to show you guys I already showed you the uh you probably saw the other ones but Sean Coleman 82 overall 550k I want to see how much I make from this video so starting at 22k, I want to take a screenshot of that so I can remember that that was, that was actually intended that screenshot. So I have 22k if I if I forget. So I'm gonna claim this Sean Coleman. Look at this, 82 overall, 82 overall. At the beginning of the year, they were like probably like 90k or something. But to pull this in a pack was like pretty crazy. An 82 overall gold would probably go for like 4k last year. And this sold for 550k, so I make almost 500k off that. Just like that, I have 517k. Now this Nightmare player sold for 40k. Leonard Floyd, 43k. He was the midway monster. 40k. 43k. 43k. 44ish k. 44k. I think I put the bid price at like 39.999, and some just went over. 40k. Oh my god, I'm at 850k already. That's insane. I wasn't even looking at my coin count. 43k. 40k. 43k. There's one I sold for like 70k. And I actually have a million. 43k right there. Oh yeah, don't even want to get into those. 4k for a base gold. A base gold who doesn't even have... Who just has a basic mug shot. 6k for a 79 overall safety with all stats in the 70s basically a kick returner for 15k those were always decent but a 70 overall oops 4k for that 79d tackle Fifth, almost 15k for this well 14k earned from his eric weems 70 overall that would be a silver kick returner who would go for like 3k last year Fifth, almost 15, 14k 13k earned from that over a million vernon hargreaves 79 overall from the dread zone I got myself 47k from that, 52k from another Vernon Hargreaves, 78k bid on a 78 O-Guard for Dread Zone. And the promos, there was literally one day left in the promo when I put these auctions up. I'll claim that. If this was last year, I'd be like crying because I'd be so happy. But this year, eh, there's nothing to open packs with. I would normally open my packs with, normally spend my coins on pro packs or some coin packs, but... Now, uh, apparently, you have a limit, so I can only spend like 200k on pro packs per day, which sucks. Mario Addison, 12k, 10.8k uh, made on this uh, fullback. Team of the week, 20k bid, 75 overall fullback, still making 3k out of this, which is pretty good for bid. Will Johnson. A basic wide receiver, 72 overall, still making almost 2.8K. Some more golds, selling them for 3K. Some more team of the weeks for 20K. I think I put like 14999 for that. Base golds, making 3K out of all of them. There we go, 1.3 mil. This is going to be it. Almost 4K on a 74 on guard. 10K. Well, 9K made from the Rob Nikovich. Joan Thompson got me some more coins. And then finally, Cameron Lynch. So I just made myself a little less than 1.3 mil from selling 36 players in one 82 overall elite. The rest gold. Do you see that? If you put them into the all quick sells, that was honestly a dumb move. Like, not even lying. 
don't put your team of the weeks in the uh, in the set because you always want to save those in case you could get you could cut them or you could put them in the elite player sets. But I don't know for my non-optionable most feared players and to the lar large quick sell. And all I'm gonna get is 3.5k when you could have sold that player for 40k. Do you see the loss that you just got? I put two of these in. Two of these players would most likely be 80k in total. And you're wasting it on this pack. So that was that was your bad if you did that. Um, yeah, shouldn't have done that at all. That was dumb. I did pull 20k out of this the other day, but still, much less. But um, yeah, that'll do it for this video. Yeah, um, pro packs, I don't know why they're limiting it. Like, if they're going to stop coin buying, this is what makes no sense to me. They're, they're trying to reduce coin buying by limiting pro packs. Which makes the players much more expensive. They're obviously going to promote more coin buying if people want to buy the expensive players. Because if you can't get a million from opening packs, then you're going to just buy a million from a coin store and then buy an elite from for a million coins. So like, it's kind, they're kind of like going the opposite way. I would almost think that like if you made it easier to make coins on the actual game, then they would take away coin selling, not just making it all cash like and limits that's just dumb if you're gonna open this bundle <coughs> and spend money on it and get a t an auctionable like elite player then you're gonna want to have coins then someone else is gonna want to have coins to buy it so like what they could do is just make you open like 50 pro packs and then you could eventually pull elites and make coins off of that rather than being unable to make packs and you still want to be able to buy some elites so you're gonna buy coins I don't know they're kind of like doing the inverse of what they should be doing but you know what? I'm fine with this. I just made myself 1.3 mil. Most coins I've had all season, which is pretty nice. And you saw it was straight up. No coin buying involved. No cash. This was all from the wheel of Madden that you saw that you, you should watch. Um, yeah, so that was it. All from gold players. Keep sniping. I sniped for about five minutes. First time I sniped in all of Madden mobile this season, I think. Snipe goals for 3K. And then you could sell them. Or snipe golds for 2k and then you can sell them for 4k. Instant profit right there if you get like 3 or 4 of those per round. That'll do it for this video. Uh, more videos to come soon. More content. And I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.